Okay, so now I'm back here with another operating system running on the Pi 4. So, um, this now is Chromium OS. So, it's like an OS that normally runs on Chromebooks, but on Chromebooks, it's normally Chrome OS, but, um, the Pi can't run th that operating system f because that is for, um, AMD 64 architectures, but the Pi 4 has an ARM architecture, so... And Chromium is made for the ARM, for ARM, so that's why it's called Chromium OS instead of Chrome OS. And so this is pretty much what it looks like when you install it. I did um, install this Discord app, but other than that, so we I'll just go over the apps that are already here, first of all. So we have the settings, and the settings looks kind of like an Android device or any Chromebook settings. So Wi-Fi does work. Um, this operating system is a little glitchy. That is one problem. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Um, you can change the background. Tells you about the Chromium OS. And it, um, there's all these settings in here, yeah. So y you guys can take a look at that. And then, um, we have a files app here. So, you can download stuff and it, it will work in here. I, when I had this, there was no background, so I downloaded this background and set it, and then, um, so the, I did, um, do this Discord app, but it's not really an app, it's a web app, web app, actually, so, this is my server, you know, so, um, I'll, I'll teach you guys how to do this, um, so, yeah, the Discord, the web apps actually are based, work really nicely on here. You can scroll, I mean, I can go to a different channel, and it all works very nicely. Um, so I got kind of excited at first because I thought there was a Google Play Store in here. I thought we could install APK's Android apps, but then I clicked on the Google Play Store, and it just opens a website. So that was kind of a disappointment, but I knew that it probably wasn't going to be able to run Android apps. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit of a disappointment, so... Uh, this, just so you know, this Google Play Store here doesn't do anything. But, basically, what this operating system is, it's a browser. Um, it's, everything's Chromium. But, at work, the Chromium browser is probably one of the best, um, performances I've had on the Pi. With web browsing, like, it's so nice and smooth and quick. As you see that glitch right there, that was that was from my screen. I mean, it's from the operating system. It wasn't from anything else. I didn't add that. As you see, Amazon just loads up super nicely, quick. I just click on stuff. I can scroll. The scrolling is very smooth. Um, and you can go and you can just click on here. So, yeah, um, that's nice. Uh, let's look. At, let's look at the YouTube performance now. Yeah, that's the only problem. Is it's a little glitchy, but other than that, man, I wish it wasn't like that. But it's still usable because it doesn't happen that much. The classic video. YouTube performs amazingly on here. I don't know why it's not loading up right now. Let me take a look at that and I'll be back. So, um, something strange happened. Like yesterday I was using YouTube on here. I tested out some different apps and stuff and it was performing flawlessly. So I think I just need to do a reboot and then it should be fine. But I don't want to do that now. But um, YouTube does perform well in here. So I'll show you like... There's no apps on here or anything, and you want to have apps. Um, so what you can do is, like you want a YouTube app, you know? So you just go to YouTube, go to the website, go to the button right here, more tools, create shortcut, and then go open as window. 
click create so now I just close that up close that up and then I can go down here open up the YouTube app and I can pin it to the taskbar right here so I just go pin but yeah so as you see now it's basic it's a web app but I mean it's pretty nice it's like a it's like a YouTube app actually so yeah I'm, you're seeing those glitches I know that's kind of annoying sorry for those glitches but it's nothing I can do about it yeah so YouTube isn't playing again but I'll work on that and then um, another app you want to use like it's hangouts probably so that's my hangouts just go more tools create shortcut open as window and create and here you go we have a hangouts app now and you can pin it and then you just close it up and you can do this for basically any um, app that will accept it like whatsapp web will work I tested that yesterday and then also um, I'll let me show you where you can download this from so you, the link will be in the description Right here, it's actually Fide OS. So these guys over on over on GitHub have done a nice job. So okay, so I found the website. Um, so you just go down here, and it shows um what they've the, they released this 28 days ago, and this um, actually interested me it says zoom will work so I'm gonna do a test soon of how zoom will work and um, I'll show that too and it says that there are some graphical glitches in the Pi 4 image and we do see that because as you as you see it's glitching so you just go to down to assets and if you have a Pi 3 download this one if you have a Pi 4 this one and then just flash it with etcher Raspberry Pi Imager or 132 Disk Imager, whatever one you prefer. So I'm gonna go and download Zoom. Oh, nope. So you just go to the Zoom here and you go to Download Center, go to the Zoom website, and then click Download. And this automatically takes you to the Chrome Web Store. So you you can install tons of cool software and stuff from this Chrome Web Store. So you just go add to Chrome. Add app. And it downloads it. So now we have a Zoom app. I'll pin this. Yeah, and um, so let's see how Zoom performs now. So um, it did it did work, but for some reason my capture device wouldn't catch it. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, that's kind of weird. So um, let's see what else we can do on here. Oh, Google Classroom. So I was thinking that. This could be kind of a solution for people who um, need to use their Raspberry Pi for online school because of the pandemic. It is a solution. The um, performance is pretty good with Zoom and Google Classroom and stuff. Just the glitchiness is a little annoying. But it, it the performance with Zoom and stuff is better than Raspberry Pi OS. So I do want to say that. And then... And you can get, um, if you're good, I mean, if you just use Google Apps, this is a pretty good um, solution because you can download just any Google App or website. You can make it into a thing. Oh, so I saw this theme place. I wanted to change this theme and see how it looks.
Yeah, so I just changed the theme of Chromium, and it looks pretty cool now, I think. Yeah, so... So, but what I've noticed is once you use it a lot, and then the glitchiness goes down. So, like... If you don't touch it for a while and then you start touching it, the glitchy is kind of glitchy at the first, at the beginning. But then it, um, that glitchiness doesn't really happen that much. And like, you can seriously just make any of these websites into apps if you use them a lot. So like, I'm gonna make Amazon into one. So just open that window. Bam! Now we have an Amazon app. So. Or you can, like, if you need to type or whatever, you can get Google Docs, go over to their website, right-click, more tools, create shortcut. There you go. And now you can use this if you're doing homework or if, you're, if you use this for your job or whatever. Um, you can use this um, to type and stuff, so... Yeah, so this is um, Chromium OS on the Pi uh, 4. So I li so far I like it. Um, there's still it's still in it's still a test image, and there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed. But it's definitely usable, and I would recommend it if you guys are gonna be doing um, Zoom classes or Google Meet or Google Classroom or whatever. Um, that this could be a good operating system for you guys. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Um, please, please like my video and please subscribe.